seven. Beard outside, the switch. Donchich goes, oh, what a great step! What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing well. The New York Knicks actually went out there and signed MJ Walker to an Exhibit 10 contract. If you're wondering what that is, he's pretty much a training camp body as of right now for this offseason. So far we have signed 19 players or there is 19 players on the roster. Obviously we have to cut it down, but there's still one more slot open for a training camp body, but he has an opportunity to get a standard contract or a two-way contract to be a part of the Westchester Knicks and the main roster and if that if that doesn't work out it's fine because he's going to have an opportunity or he's going to be with the Westchester Knicks and I believe he's guaranteed $50,000 so pretty much he is going to be a Nick if it's in the G League with the main roster on a two-way contract and I'm going to be breaking down his game I'm going to be breaking down what I really like I actually likes I actually liked um, some of what he brought to the Summer League squad on both ends of the floor. He has proven to be a solid 3 and D guy. The reason why he's not getting a lot of publicity or the reason he was undrafted doesn't really have a high upside, didn't really have eye-popping numbers. He was, he's 6'5", he's um, 213 pounds, I believe, only a 6'8 wingspan, though he doesn't have like some crazy physical tools. And you could say he's not really elite at one thing, but he's someone that really knows his role. That's what I respect about him. I'm not expecting him to really make the team but if we ever are really riddled by injuries I actually do think he could step in and be a solid player because he's 23 years old played four years of collegiate basketball a no-nonsense program over there at Florida State they've produced some solid defensive basketball players and just really disciplined basketball players so yes not big time physical profile not big time like potential but I'm gonna be getting into the things that he really does well so he's a good shooter of basketball he's improved every single year from his freshman year to his senior year you just know he's gonna be a good shooter like overall he shot it well from the free throw line showing good touch 80% and he also shot 40% from beyond the arc on four attempts per game he actually did have some like kind of ball handling duties at times even though Scotty Barnes was that main ball handler what an interesting um, prospect he is or what an interesting player Scotty Barnes is I'm looking forward to seeing what he could do with the Toronto Raptors but his role will really be reduced and cut down at the NBA level or even with the Westchester Knicks we'll see what his role goes on to be over there but his handle could definitely get sloppy but he definitely does have underrated vision out there on the court but don't expect him to really handle the ball like crazy I'd be very surprised but who knows I may be wrong I'm just a fan at the end of the day but I could see him coming off of screens being a catch and shoot guy but he's fluid smooth mechanics but another thing I really like about him on the offense side of the basketball is that he knows how to move without the basketball he's not just standing there and just like he knows how to be a floor spacer he knows when to move without the basketball he knows when to cut back door and he could also look to attack as well yes there are certain things that may not translate or translate over from the college level to the NBA level but he definitely is a solid athlete and he's not afraid to attack the rim and we know he could shoot it well from the free throw line so that definitely is a positive sign so something I really really like about him is like his defense he's just a glue guy that's what I think of I think of a glue guy three and D player and he's always had like the discipline or he's always had like the tenacity on defense the discipline hasn't always been there but he got better like I said um he improved when it came to his shooting from freshman year to his senior year but he also like stayed out of foul trouble he became more disciplined he knew when to reach he knew when not to reach he knew when to play straight hands up fundamental defense because he doesn't have the best of physical tools in the world he has to play discipline and I just really like his game um, I'm not expecting him to make the main roster we'll see what goes on to happen like crazy things can happen you never know um, for sure but he has a great work ethic down to earth dude I actually really liked seeing him in the summer league he shot it extremely well again fluid mechanics but let me know down below what do you expect from MJ Walker do you just think he's going to be with the Westchester Knicks and as always guys have a humble day or night peace out y'all